the guard. This position can be looked at as one of the hardest or the easiest positions to play. And I say that for one reason and one reason only, park. Now the guard community is split. There are thousands upon thousands of great guards in the park. Then on the other side, there's maybe a handful of actually skilled guards from the stage. And I know there will be a lot of y'all that say, well, mostly every guard in the stage is good. And yes, I could agree with that, but is every guard skilled enough to have a 75 plus win percentage from playing regular stage and comp stage? No. And that's why you have me, Len, one of the greatest play shots teachers to ever live. Welcome to Guard Academy. So in today's class of Guard Academy, you will learn everything about becoming a stage guard. Top three jump shots, best dribble moves, shooting and playmaking badges, combo slash dribble tutorial, best play shot build, and much more. So let's start off with the first section. So start now by finding the best jump shot for you. When playing guard, you want to make sure you have a very fast jump shot so it's almost impossible to contest. Also, your base you choose has a set green window. The three jump shots I will be giving you today have a combination of both fast and a high green window. So let's start off with the first one. So for this first jump shot, we're going to go with base three. This is one of the highest green window bases in the game, also one of the fastest. And then for the upper release, we're going to go with Rudy Gay. Upper release two, we're going to go with Damian Lillard. And for the blending, of course, we're going to go with release speed all the way up. And then animation blending 50 50 so this is my main jump shot if y'all want my jumper this is the one you're gonna be using of course to me it's my favorite because i know it and i almost green every shot with this jumper i have a 73 point percentage so if y'all want my jumper this is the one to use now for the second jump shot i also like but i don't use as often set shot 25 base it also has a very high green window and it's very very fast so for this one the base we're going with is set shot 25 then for the upper release we're once again gonna go with Rudy Gay. And the same thing for release two, Damian Lillard. Max speed, of course, and then the animation blending 50-50. Alright, so for this last jumper, I actually mixed both of the best jump shots together. And it came out to be one of the best jump shots I ever used. So for the base, we're going with set shot 25. Upper release, release three. Upper release two, release three once again. Then for the release speed, max speed, and then the animation blending, you can leave regular because they're both of the same jumpers. Okay, so now that you have your jump shot picked out, let's go through every single badge you will need in order to become a comp guard. Be aware that these badges are set for people that do not have any extra badges, so keep that in mind as we go through the badge layout. Lucas. Okay, so starting off with the most important badge, quick first step. This badge has to be on Hall of Fame. This badge is one of the most important just because it's what it allows you to speed boost out of almost any move. For that reason, this badge is a must. Moving on to handles for days. This is an obvious badge to have on Hall of Fame. This badge basically allows you to dribble for an extremely extended amount of time, so we're running this badge on Hall of Fame. The next badge is Quick Chain. We're gonna use this badge on bronze now. In the last patch, everyone in the community started to realize that this badge is near useless, but I'll still use it on bronze. It's a speed boost to the third dribble move that you perform in a combo and if you stop dribbling for one second quick chain will not trigger but once again we're using this on bronze the next gold badge is tight handles just like quick chain this badge in the most recent patch has been nerfed to the floor this badge allows you to break down your defender causing the defender to be stunned for a split second increases the player's ball handling ability in a size up situation making it easier to break down the ball defender so we're using this on gold the next badge that is a must is unpluckable but we can put this badge on gold since there's not much of a difference between gold and hall of fame but obviously this badge reduces the chance of getting stripped by the defender when performing dribble moves the defender will have a much tougher time poking the ball free with their steal attempts with that reason i'm using this on gold now this badge is also a must bail out although you do not need this badge any higher than bronze it's a great badge to have on any player this badge increases the chances of successfully completing a pass from midair so definitely have this badge on bronze now the next badge that i'm using on hall of fame is bullet passer this badge improves the player's ability to quickly pass the ball speeds up how quickly a player gets the ball out of their hands as well as the speed of the pass so for that reason i'm using this badge on hall of fame then for my last badge i'm throwing on special delivery hall of fame i know it sounds crazy this badge has become a huge must this badge boosts your takeover meter by so much when throwing a alley-oop or flashy pass this badge is what causes teams to reach team takeover so for that reason i'm using this badge on hall of fame now moving on to the new shooting badges not much has changed but we're gonna go over them anyway okay starting off with the most important badge sniper to keep it simple this badge opens up your green window and also it helps if you have good or poor shot timing but we always want to go for a good shot timing and this is what allows guards to hit whites the second most important badge for a guard is blinders this allows the defender to be behind you or beside you and the shot not counting as a contest at all so we want to run this hall of fame next hot zone hunter another must-have badge overall when you get in your hot zones it opens up your green window and it also allows you to hit more whites inside of your hot zones now if you made your play shot correct you should be be 
under six foot tall. But if not, this badge will still work. This match expert. So we want that on Hall of Fame. This basically just allows you to hit contested shots. Opens up your green window when a defender is in front of your face. So that is definitely a must have for smaller guards. Next up, stop and pop. This badge basically gives you a boost after dribbling and then stopping. So a quick stop. So we definitely want this on Hall of Fame because that's the main point of a guard. Next up, I'm using Chef Hall of Fame. This might be an unpopular opinion, but me using this badge, I have hit so many half court shots, full court shots. It just helps a lot to open up your green window when you're very far from the basket. Next up, Dead Eye. I'm running this on silver because I need to make space for my next badge, but Dead Eye basically just helps when a defender is closing out. Not a full contest, but just a close out. And then my last badge, Green Machine on bronze. You don't need this any higher, but I mean, if you have the extra badges, you might as well just put it up. Overall, just the badge to have. And yeah, these are the badges you should be using. Make sure you get them down. But now, let's get into the real stuff. Alright, so since the last patch, my moves really stayed the same. There's a couple of things changed, but y'all know I always got two sets of dribble moves that I use. My ISO dribble moves and my screen dribble moves. So let's start off with my screen dribble moves. Alright, so for my dribble style, I'm using quick, of course, because we can peek out of this dribble move. And also, it's one of the fastest in the game. And for the signature size ups, I'm using D rows because it's really confusing because you get all the glitchy animations. And if you're using quick, of course, you got to go with D rows. So make sure you got this on. For the signature combos, I'm using Kemba Walker. I used to use B Davis, but now I use Kemba Walker just because I found a new glitchy move and i'm gonna show you that in the dribble tutorial coming up and for my size of escape packages of course i'm going with trey young it's the best in the game and you could crab almost anybody with this dribble move for moving crossovers we're not gonna be using this much but i got on lebron james for the moving behind the back once again we're not gonna be using this but put on trey young for the moving hesitations i'm using john wall for the moving step back i'm using normal just so we can unlock the asset slide i'm gonna show you all that in the dribble tutorial as well and yeah those are my dribble moves for screens now let me show you with the iso for my iso six i use c gray dribble style just because it's the fastest and you also get a lot of tight handles and animations with this for my signature size up if we're using c gray of course we got to go with kemba walker it's the fastest in the game for signature combos i'm using b davis just so we can get the glitchy animations and then everything after that is the same so y'all can decide which one y'all want to use now let's get on to the dribble tutorial so the first type of dribble moves I'm going to show y'all is the flick dribble moves. So flick dribble moves are when you come out of a move and it automatically moves you or it gives you a drastic speed boost just like this. So that's just one of them. Here's another one. So that's what I call them. I call them uh, flick dribble moves. So I'm going to give y'all a hand cam to show y'all how to do them. So the first one I'm going to show y'all how to do is the pull back into the, to the speed boost. So first things first, y'all going to want to learn how to do a speed boost first. Since the ball is in my right hand, all we're going to do is flick the right stick to the left diagonally up. So it's going to go up this way. And then right after you flick up, you want to hold RT. That's how you do that. So how to do the pull back. Since the ball is in our left hand. We're gonna flick the right stick up diagonally right and the left stick down while holding RT. Like that. So since the ball is in my left hand, when we do the pullback, we know the ball is gonna be in my right. So after the pullback, let go of everything, flick up diagonally left, right stick, move your left stick over to the left. So that's just one flick dribble move you could do. The next one is the Trey Young into the speed boost. I'm sure y'all all know how to do the Trey Young hop, hold RT, flick up diagonally left because the ball is in our right hand. Just like that. So since the ball is in our right hand, we know the ball is going to go to our left after we do that. So after the move triggers, we let go of everything, flick up diagonally right on the right stick, and then move the left stick to the right. So that's just two flick dribble moves. There's a there's many more. You could also call a flick dribble move out of a snatchback, but you don't do anything after. Like that. And in my opinion, these moves create the most space in stage. So I use these a lot. Now I've been seeing a lot of y'all talk about chainment and combos. Chainment is just a mixture of momentum, self momentum is behind the back. That's really it. So the momentum, all you want to do is hold RT. Since the ball is in my right hand, we flick both sticks to the left, up diagonally. Just like that. It's very simple. And I already taught you how to self momentum. I'm going to show you all once again. Also, chainment includes crabs. To do a self momentum, all you want to do is a move first. Since we're going to do it out of Trey Young Hop, we're going to hold RT, flick diagonally left on the right stick since the ball is in our right hand. After you do the hop and like you're in the middle of the hop, you flick your right stick up diagonally right since the ball is going to be in our left hand while letting go of RT. 
And then once the ball gets into your right hand, you just want to move your left stick over to the left. So it's going to look like this. That's how we did a self-momentum. Now we're going to start off with a momentum. Like I just showed you, I'll hold RT, flick both sticks over to the left since the ball's in our right hand. Uh, try young hop. Ball goes to the right hand, so we flick it over to the left. Then we move to the right. It also includes misdirection speed boost. So to do a misdirection speed boost, since the ball is in our left hand, we're, we're going to flick the right stick up diagonally to the right. Since the ball is going to our right hand, once it's in the animation of going over to our right, we just want to move our left stick to the left while holding our RT after you flick. That's how you do a misdirection speed boost. Now how to do the tween spam, it's the same thing as the momentum, but all you want to do is keep your right stick straight instead of going up in diagonal, keep it straight while holding RT. It's actually very simple, it might take y'all a while to understand, but it's honestly it's really easy. Now for the misdirection behind the back, since the ball is on our left hand, all you want to do is hold RT, flick your right stick diagonally down right, and flick your left stick diagonally down left. And since we're in the right hand now, flick both sticks in down. Very simple. Now for the Asta slide, all you want to do is hold RT the whole time. Run down court, flick down on your stick. That's literally it. And it gets a crab almost every time. Now for the fake peak, all you want to do is move either to the left or the right. Once you get moving to either the left or the right, all you want to do is tap LT. So you're gonna have to go straight at first and right when you tap lt then you want to start to go move this stick diagonally you get the speed now that y'all know some dribble combos and dribble moves now i got to show y'all the greatest move in 2k the peak so for the people that decided to pick the iso dribble moves this move will not work but the people that decided to use quick dribble style this move will work so all you want to do is obviously do the speed boost first how i just taught you on the dribble tutorial don't hold rt flick up diagonally on the right stick since the ball is in our right hand we flick it left and once that triggers then we tap rt it's gonna look like this right the second you do this move and you see the ball hit the floor tap lt just tap it and then hold your shoot button instantly. So all together, it'll look like this. It's very simple. Make sure y'all get this down. Rewatch this as many times as y'all need. All right, so for the demigod play shot that I use, of course, you want to go with a point guard. I go with left-handed. I recommend left-handed. Jersey number don't matter and continue. Then you want to pick this pie chart right here. Have yellow, have green. Then for the physical profile, of course, you want to pick the first one, max speed. Then let's skip straight down to shooting. Max out your shooting just like this and then bring down your post fade a couple down to a 78 play make it max it out and i think you can only bring your post control down once then what i did for my player i maxed out the defense so i can get 10 defensive badges I, it's not like i'm gonna go around dunking the ball just like this then for the driving dunk i just put it up a little bit and you will be able to dunk at a 98 overall then let's first continue body shape i went with slight so it's the skinniest player i can be then the height of course you want to go with five eight that's my player size then the weight bring it all the way down it's not like you're posting up people wingspan all the way down as well and then for the takeover i went with spot up shooter and there you go you build my demigod five eight play shot Now it's time to go over some pro tips y'all will need before you play any game. So the first tip I would recommend is to take off your jump shot splash. And you can do that by going over to my player, jump shot splash. To me, it gives me less of a delay when I shoot the ball. And you go down to perfect release and then go all the way down to the bottom and leave it on none and back out. So that's why every time I shoot the ball and I green it, the green splash doesn't come over my head. In my opinion, like I said, it, it gives me a little delay when I have it on. So I take it off. Now, if you're playing guard before any game, you want to go on your phone, buy one jump shot boost, and then go to Gatorade and buy all three. If you can't afford all three, I recommend buying the first one and the last one just like this. Also, y'all wanted to go over my settings. So in my controller settings, I have vibration off, shot meter off. This is a must. Have shot meter off if you're playing stage. Have it off. Pro stick function, default. Pro stick orientation, absolute. Off ball offensive mode, absolute. So make sure you have it on just like that. Have all your settings the same. 
All right, now a lot of y'all be thinking that y'all need a comp face creation to play in the stage, and I guess if you need some teammates, you gotta look somewhat comp. So I got y'all with my face scan. But for my hair, I'm using Afro spikes, all black. For the score, I'm going with default 2020. For the brow, I'm using brow one, 10, 10, 10, 7. For the eyebrows, I'm using eyebrow eight, all black. For the eyes, I'm going with eyes four, gray, 20, 10, 10, 0, 0, 0. For the ears, I'm going with ear six, 10, 10, 10, 3. For the nose, default, 2, 5, 10, 13, 2, 7. For the cheeks, default once again, 20, 0. For the mouth, mouth 6, 10, 14, 14, 5, 14, 14. For my facial hair, I have none right now. For my chin, chin 1, 0, 13, 6, 10, 10. And for the skin color, I either go with skin color 1 or skin color 8. Now I know I went fast and y'all can go back and pause whenever y'all want. Now for the drip, y'all just want to go in the stage wearing all black at first and then you can get crafty with your fit. I recommend a fit like this if you have no teammates, just all black, simple, with the short shorts and the tattoos, man. Alright, so that was the end of this Guard Academy. If y'all enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below what y'all think. And last but not least, press the subscribe button for more 2K content like this. It took me a long time to edit, so make sure y'all do all three things. Yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video, man.